So I was going to do a video on something, and when I went to unlock my phone, I found something that was pretty cool. I unlocked it, I swiped it up, and I get this nice little notification telling me about some severe warning thunderstorm thingamajig. So I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. When you drag down a notification, it has a severe alert, flash flood warnings. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press view and see what this is. What is this? Is this, is this, uh, ah, oh, what the heck? I don't know if that was HD widgets or if that was, I don't know. Anyways, this video is going to show you how to disable that stupid notification. And this will work on a completely stock ROM as long as you have root access. And check this out. We'll drag this down and, huh? Where the heck did it go? I think that's Google Now. Yeah, that's Google Now telling about the flash flood warning. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to hit enable and do a reboot. So I'll be right back. The phone's almost booted up and I pressed enable because I wanted to show you how it works. All right, so when you first get your phone from the Sprint store, when you install a ROM that like Viper ROM or you know, what anything other than CyanogenMod, when you drag down your notification, what the heck? Why is mine not there? Whatever, I'm not going stock. I like this ROM a lot. For some reason, when I try to enable it, it just, it, it's like, it's just gone forever. I'm gonna try something real quick, hold on. Okay, so this has been a lot of fun. I actually did a advanced wipe, I cleared the cache, Delvet cache, system, everything. And I installed the ROM again, just so I could show you guys how to do this. Cause that's how we do things here. <laughs> Drag down a notification, what do you see? Mm -hmm. You see, um, hold on, uh, turn on, okay. Well actually let's make that on silent. Anyways, you see power save. Bam, okay, so yeah, you can turn it off or on. It's not on at the moment. And some people say you can disable notifications. Well, go to app info and look, you cannot press it. I showed you that one of my videos, but people still keep saying, just uncheck show notifications. I'm doing that. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm frustrated. Everybody thinks that they're a genius and they know more than I do. I'm not saying there's people out there who don't know more than I do because there simply is. So there's a lot more people out there. Anyways, this is stupid. I'm just saying these people keep telling me to uncheck show notifications. Look, you cannot do it. It's grayed out. It's not there. I keep trying to say that. If you freeze this app with Titanium Backup, then you won't have it under your settings for power. So what you've got to do is press four stop, okay, and then clear data and etc and it's not there but the moment you reboot your phone the moment it's back all right so we'll let it reboot and i'm going to show you that even after a reboot it comes back and i just i want to put this to rest people say uncheck show notifications i don't know what rom they're on but you can't do it with viper rom and you can't do it with stock so there you go all right so we are back and if i drag down my notifications you will see right there that we have power save and again you press on it and you cannot disable it you just cannot do it um, there's a way to do that actually but you have to have root access so if you have a custom ROM you obviously have root access there's this app let me sort this by alphabetical um, there should be this app either called super user or super su in your app drawer if you do not have that you are not rooted it's that simple so what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to the Play Store and I've not done anything. I literally wiped this phone, installed the ROM, and signed in my Google account, and updated all the apps before that I started doing the video. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna search for JMZ, and then it should populate with power, or you can just type it, power, enter, and there you go, JMZ Power. It's a free app, I think, I don't know, I pay for a lot of apps, so it might not have been, I don't know. I'll link to it in the description below. But you'll open it up, and it'll pop up saying, do you want to allow or do you want to deny? And I just hit allow. Um, disable power save notification. Uh, okay, it's going to ask for root access. I'm going to go ahead and either press grant or allow. And you'll see that it's still there. We're going to go ahead and reboot the phone. If I can get it right. And restart. Reboot. And we're just going to wait for it to boot up. For over a year now, I've been manually changing my ISO, aperture, everything. <laughs> and anytime it goes to a white screen and there's a little bit of text like the bootloader, it got really frustrating 
having to lower it in the middle of a video, stop recording, lower it, turn the video back on, start recording again. It got, that got a little bit frustrating. So now I just have it set to auto. It's a little bit frustrating because the video will change, but it anytime there's like a white screen, it'll accurately display everything that's on there. So anyways, bam, look at that. We can click notifications and look at that. It's not there. It's just not there anymore. This app by whoever this is, JMZ Power Save Disable, makes it a one-click process. Hit disable, press OK, reboot. That freaking simple. You want to enable the power save notification and have it up there again? Press enable and then reboot. It's that simple. And if we go to settings, we should still have our power options in here. Yep, we're right there. So we can still access our power options. We can still check out our battery usage. I just flashed this so the battery. It has no clue how it's, it's, but the battery stats have been reset. So it's why it's not displaying it accurately. This ROM gives you amazing battery life. I get over a day, over a day out of every single charge. And that's actually like playing games and, you know, using it light to moderate use. Rarely do I use it heavily. I have so many devices. Like I usually end up using my Note 2 or some other device. And I just use this for calling and texting. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. You will not regret it. I have a lot of new videos coming. I'm actually going to do two next to seven videos today. I won't post them today, but I'm going to record them today. And I'm also going to do a video on this nutrient power pack that I've been putting off because I went to Tennessee and I got to use it a ton. And it's a freaking awesome big battery that charges anything that connects to a USB charging thing like a wall adapter. Anyways, please subscribe. Please give us a video a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.